Angos Analytics Software Suite. The introduction of Knowledge Studio version 8.5 includes enhancements to the scorecard module to help creditors and lending organizations build credit application scorecards with reject inference methods. This brief video presentation will introduce credit scorecards, discuss how they work, the various types of scorecards, and speak to reject inference and its use. Credit scorecards provide financial institutions like banks, mortgage companies, insurance and credit companies with standardized mathematical models that help quantify the characteristics of the customers and prospects to predict the likelihood of their credit worthiness. Financial institutions use scorecards to help reduce business loss by identifying good versus bad customers. For example, those who are likely to pay the borrower credit versus those who are not. They also provide compliance with financial regulations like Basel II and Basel III Accords. Credit scorecards assign scores to individual data attributes based on data values and the associated average risk. Scores for each of the attributes are summed up to determine a final score. That final score is then used to establish a cutoff of good versus bad prospects or customers. That is, we end up accepting customers or prospects with a lower risk score and rejecting those with a higher risk score. A score cutoff or threshold is what helps divide good customers that display positive behavior, for example, timely repayment of loans and borrowed credit from bad customers that most probably will display negative behavior, like default on a loan. These score cutoffs can be adjusted and revisited by those developing the scorecards by monitoring performance and adjusting strategies accordingly. There are two main types of credit scorecards widely used within the finance industry, behavior scorecards and application scorecards. Behavior scorecards help predict the probability that an existing customer will exhibit a certain behavior, for example, default on a loan, the likelihood to be a fraudulent customer, etc. While application scorecards are used to predict the probability of a prospect going bad, and the definition of bad could be default on borrowed credit. Usually the decision is based on the initial information the applicant provides on the application they complete for a financial institution where they apply for credit. Reject inference is used for application scorecards. It helps infer the behavior of rejected applicants in order to identify new customers at a lower potential risk. With Angos Knowledge Studio version 8.5, you have the ability to use decision trees and logistic regression models to determine the likelihood of predicting the exhibited behavior. The three methods for reject inference that are included in version 8.5 are proportional assignment, hard cutoff, and parceling. Details on the three methods of reject inference are as follows. Proportional assignment randomly assigns reject applicants into good or bad groups. The good group is then approved. While within the hard cutoff method, a user defines a cutoff score. The bad population that falls above the cutoff score is then marked as good and approved. Parceling allows the user to select different score bins and use those to reassign the proportion of bad population into both good and bad groups. Thank you for listening to our video. We hope you found it helpful. In order to request a demonstration of using Knowledge Studio version 8.5 to build credit application scorecards using these three reject inference methods, you can visit us at www.angos.com or you can email us at info at angos.com.